It was actually my great-great-grandfather, John, who started the business in 1877, but it was his son, William Henry, my great-grandfather, who ended up getting all the credit. The premises were originally on Penniston Road, and we stayed there from uh, my grandfather's time right through to where my father had it, and then we moved to where we are now at Shales Moor. We've always very much been rooted in Sheffield. In those days, anywhere to travel like Rotherham or Barnsley was quite a trek. Mario first came to us 25, 26 years ago as a young man. He was actually a friend of my cousin's. He was looking for a job and he initially helped out with all the stuff in the office. When we were first on Penniston Road, it was one of the main thoroughfares into Sheffield. But then the road needed to be widened to make the dual carriageway, and the firm was bought out by the council. And all the buildings and the houses all around us were all knocked down. There's been many different types of industries here at Shales Moor, um, but the only all by one by one, they all seem to have gone. And now we've been surrounded by flats and trendy cafes, which are all very nice, but the, uh, it's very different from when we were first here. All the timber that we use is from imported from North America. Um, it's all from sustainable sources and it's primarily hemlock, which is a white pine, or sometimes we use Douglas fir. The way we make our ladders has changed little over the years and although obviously we use some machinery now for boring and planing, it's always been finished by hand in the traditional way. We know there are some ladders that are in family sheds that have been there since their grandfather's times, you know. They've had them 30, maybe 40 years, and they still can be as functional as ever, as long as you look after the timber. And there's no reason they shouldn't keep on going and last for several lifetimes. The handcrafting tradition is really important to us, so the continuity of the firm will be very much dependent on handing these methods down. We would hopefully be looking to take on new people, possibly apprentices, who would have to learn these old skills and then we'd be able to keep it going and secure the future of the firm.